Welcome to Project Pro Code Recipes. In this video, you are going to learn on how to visualize Exibus feature importance uh, pr problems. So this is my code snippet over here. I have copied this code and I pasted that in my Jupyter notebook. I explained to you the code over here. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, uh, what is Exibus? So Exibus is a boosting type model. So uh, what is a boosting type model? So we are very familiar with a uh, on ensemble models ensemble models contain bagging model boosting models as a bagging model uh, that is uh, for example consider bagging model uh, random forest are, bag are bagging models or just bagging classifiers are bagging model so what did uh, what did they do they basically uh, train on in different iterations so as a bagging model they basically average out the val average out the complete training of the each iteration as compared to whereas in boosting model a boosting model uh, with each iteration it tries to correct the errors that the previous models have provided in previous iterations so that is why boosting models are one of the best models to be used and give the best result but sometimes these boosting models are quite complex so it also depends upon the data set for example, there are many time uh, many times that your model is your data set is linearly distributed, so there is no need of using a complex model such as this because these all are tree based model Exibus classifier and all. So there is no need of using a tree based model. You can simply get the best result from a linear model such as ridge regression or elastic net regression, linear regression. So uh, now let's get started with the codes. I have imported data sets. Now I imported matrices. So from sklearn.model selection, I imported train test split to split my data set into training and testing. I'll use the training part of my data set for training and testing for validation that how my model is actually performing. Now from XGBoost, I'm importing XGB classifier and plot importance. So what does this plot importance does? So basically each different model has its own importance function. So basically for a different model, may need different type of features to give you the best result so there are many features that are that are redundant they have very less scores so rather than using them we could also go go for this plot importance function and this shows us the graph that uh, which model contributes how much to my uh, uh, to which uh, variable or which feature contributes how much to my learning of my model and on that basis we can select which feature uh, features to drop and which features to keep uh, there is a comprehensive videos regarding feature selection on uh, in a, on our YouTube channel. You can check that out in which I have explained how to use RFE CV feature uh, elimination using decision tree and different models, or uh, how to use ANOVA method for selecting feature, chi squared method, and all. So now after that, I am importing matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. Now data set. I am using a wine data set over here. Now I have split this data set into tra into training uh, sorry into the target matrices and the feature matrices. So x uh, x contains the feature matrices and y contains the target matrices. Now I am performing the train test split. So I am keeping my x uh, I am passing x y as parameter and I am keeping my test size to be twenty five percent. Now model is my exibus classifier model dot fit x train and y train. So print x dot shape. This will give me the shape of my uh, shape of my data set. Now print model. This will give me uh, my model my all the uh, sorry all the parameters of my model along with its uh, values. After that make prediction. So y underscore test is saved under the name expected underscore y. Then I'm using predicted underscore y. So model dot predict. In the predict function you need to pass x underscore test. And pre, uh, so expected is under y underscore test and predicted is under uh, predicted is under predicted underscore y. So after that I am print I am summarizing my model. So this will just print the model name. Now print matrices dot classification report. So this will give me the classification report. So as it is a classification type problem, this will be the all the values that we use for classification such as uh, precision recall sensitivity uh, all the like uh, precision recall sensitivity f1 score and supports so expected underscore y and predicted underscore y 
target underscore name so what is the target underscore name data dot target names now print matrices dot confusion matrix so this will give me my confusion matrix so uh, after that expected underscore y and predicted underscore uh, y these are my uh, values of confusion matrix so you need to pass the expected and the predicted value now plot bar range length uh, so i am plotting the bar graph i am using two type of bar graphs both represent the same thing but these are different uh, types of these are different method of representing the same thing so bar is this bar is vertical graph and this bar h is horizontal graph i need to write the same thing model dot feature importance this will give me the score uh, that sorry range this will give me the range of feature importance that is all the uh, le uh, length of the uh, sorry this will give me the total number of features basically this will be the total number of the count of features so i want the range and model dot feature importance this will give me the course of feature importance now after that i am printing my plot importance model this importance from for my model specifically and plot dot show so you remember each uh, so always remember that each model has its own importance uh, feature for example if i am using a gradient boost regression now i cannot use the scores that has been provided to my xg boost regressor in order to determine the best feature for my gradient boost regressor okay so remember that now this was my shape of data set so 178 and 13 13 is the number of uh, features xgb classifier so you can see i haven't made any changes to the uh, to the hyper parameters or to the parameters of xgb classifier i have kept them as it is after that xgb classify uh, so this will give me the precision recall f1 score and support for so there are three classes in wine class so this is a multi class classification problem under class 0 and class 1 and class 2 these are the respective scores the precision is the best for uh, class 0 and the recall is the best for class 1 now accuracy these are the accuracy after that macro average and weighted average so these are all the values now these are the prediction so co consider this contain class 0 class 1 and class 2 so for class 0 uh, being class 0 and predicted correctly there are 12 there are 12 that are class 0 and was predicted class 0 and 2 that was uh, class 0 but was predicted class 1 now for this for the second part there was only one value that was class 1 but predicted class 0 and for class 1 it was predicted uh, and for 18 values it it predicted correctly as class 1 as class 1 now for class 2 all the predictions were correct so basically you can see that there is some relation between class 0 and class 1 due to which our model is a bit confused between uh, predictions of class 1 and class 0 whereas for class 2 it is uh, predicting absolutely correct now these are the feature importance sorry these are the feature importance for uh, my graph so uh, sorry for my more, for my variables these are the scores uh, now this is for uh, this is the horizontal bar plot and this is the sorry this is the vertical bar plot and this is the horizontal bar plot now this finally is the feature importance matrix so you can see uh, from 0 to 12 now f2 to f12 these are the different features uh, f1 to f12 sorry uh, f0 now let me show you yes f0 to f12 so this cons uh, this comprises 13 features as you saw that in the shape that i uh, that i used x dot shape now this give me different scores so the best score is for f12 that is the most important now f2 f7 and f8 this all gives the uh, this all gives gives me the uh, the sorry this all uh, my model shows that these are the least significant features so it completely completely depends upon me whether i want to drop them and then again want to train my feature uh, my model for maybe for better result or i want to keep them so this is not the best method to choose your features uh, we rather go for rfe cv that is recursive feature elimination method in which we recursively train our model over different sets of feature and then we get then we pick up the best result to uh, then we analyze the best result and we use that for training the taking out the best feature so that is one of the best method so okay now this was about feature importance so this was all about codes in this video for more code recipes like this you can visit our website as well as our youtube channel you can also use 
uh, you can also go to our website for these industry relevant project if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button and the description for the code of this video uh, sorry and the url for the code of this video is available in the description below thank you